Back in Luigi's mansion, Alex readies her sword, flicks her bean, and there's a kip. That's what I do. What's at the end of the corridor? It's a door. If it leads you to monsters, I'm sorry. So, well, the pit grand piano. It's the Moonlight Sonata. It's me, Chris. Is that, that you, Rebecca? Rebecca? <laughs> oh, here we go. What kind of crazy... Music? Grand Piano stands here, awaiting the hands of a decent musician. Unfortunately, Edwin never really loved that description, and as such, the piano fell into disuse. Rest in peace, piano. Rest in peace, Billy Joel. He was the piano man. It's me, Chris. Is that you, Rebecca? No, it's Alan! Who's that one? I don't know. The illustration features a collection of strange, inlined designs related to each other in a cynical manner. No! Cyclical. <laughs> oh. Uh, cyclical. So I don't even know. Actually, I don't actually know that. It's not cynical, though. Cynical would be much funnier. So we're going to ignore what I said. It's, it's in a cynical manner. Partic partic particularly evident. That that's literally how my brain reads. So you imagine how long it takes me to read novels. No, you can read novels fine because you haven't got someone going. Yes, 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 yes. Fucking half. Oh yeah. <laughs> we had this conversation earlier, didn't we? <laughs> there appears to be nothing in this room. Where are the knights of the round table? <laughs> Assemble them. Go away and I will taunt you some more. There's another door. Stay yeah, it up. leads back into that, that one. Yeah, it leads into that room with the sword. Oh, There's two it? doors, yeah. Why don't you try up the stairs? <laughs> this reminds me of Scooby Doo. <laughs> Zoinks! <laughs> You'll get a fair share, provided you spend a night here in the old family mansion. That doesn't sound too hard. The house is haunted. <laughs> haunted? Yes, haunted. I fucking love Scooby-Doo so much. Good night and pleasant dreams, y'all. I love that one. We watched at Halloween when... Um he said, he said, where'd they go? And the school goes, they went that, that way. way. Goes, oh, <laughs> thanks, man. <laughs> it's all right. We get into the dog jump through the front door if I try to leave. No, I think she... Ah, goes, there isn't a front door! No, there is. I think that she just says that. No, there's the call of the mansion beckons so Alex, drawing her back to uncover the family secrets it hides. Alex will not leave till she has learned what happened to her grandfather. Yeah, but don't give a shit about Alex. I want to leave. <laughs> I yeah. want to go and buy some fags. Come on. I want to go to the off license. Get myself some whiskey and rye. I need to find the dresser, really. Maybe it's in um, the library. He's got two pic like two of the exact same pictures. Yeah. Fucking... He's a wanker, that's why. Did you go through that one at the end? Yeah, that led me to the telescope. Oh, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Where... Go back to the chair. Is it a fireplace or is it... What, that? Yeah, it's a fireplace, isn't it? Whether you know where the picture is of the hanging tree or whatever. Yeah. There's got to be a dresser in here somewhere. What was he going to say? This is a silly library. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm... There's a dresser! There's two dresses! <laughs> I'm sick of your shit. Oh, what's the other key? You've got a second floor key. When, when did I get that? I don't know. Alex, can I use that now? I'm sure she can. Go away, Here whisper. in the old family match. Whispery voices. I'll go to the second floor then. 
Good night, and pleasant dreams, Joe. I can't remember what that episode is now, that one that you're on about. I know the episode. It's the one with the ghost in the yeah. castle. Yeah. Hassle in the castle. That's the one. And my favourite's A Night of Fright is No Delight. That's, That's the, the one with the family, isn't it? Yeah. Where they have to spend the night in the in the mansion. The key comes apart in the lock. The key to the second floor is broken. Perhaps there is a way of repairing it. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called... <laughs> <laughs> and Alex has broken... <laughs> Alex has broken the key. Silly bitch. <sighs> Where's this dresser? You know what, Alex? You know what would help? Maybe you put the lights on. <laughs> yeah. This one's locked. Is that a dresser? That. Mm. Nope. Do you think the the dresser is in the um, the laboratory or whatever the fuck it was? <laughs> the laboratory. Yeah, you know it's weird. It's sex room. It's dungeon. Is uh, was it a red room? <laughs> dungeon. That's the telescope. Creeps room. and crawls. Mm. They still pick the right lawyers for this job. Mm. Good night and pleasant dreams. There's an awful lot of dresses that can't be opened. What's that? Is that a door? No. It's just a wall with a lamp on it. Oh, it's one of those games. Oh, look, it's them. When the moon hits your eye like a bigger piece of pie, that's amore. <laughs> when you've had too much wine and you're seeing ghosts and spooky shit, that's amore. Ring a ling, ding a ling a ling, ding a ling a ling. Yeah, go back to his, his red room. <laughs> his dungeon. Yeah. What's well, this way, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, there was, a, there was a glowy thing on the wall. Next to the door. It's a piece of paper. It's the moonlight tonight. Strangely, with a term of eternal darkness in her possession, Alex can read the page. It's a chapter page from the term itself. Should Alex take the chapter page? Binding of the Corpse God. Sounds cheerful. So I think you can use like the book and um, like go to the next sort of story bit. I think. I think you got the page separate in it. What are that? I cannot say what was the true beginning. I can't say. Nor am I sure of its end. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. Uh. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, Ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. Nice. Good on you, mate. My <coughs> time is done, You can play for a minute. And then I'll take it back. In a few episodes. <laughs> well, after the next episode, the next episode of Eternal Darkness. Indeed, when we get to play as sexy Egyptian lady with purple hair. Sexy slut lady. Get your cum tie. <laughs> Here is a big pulsing jab of the hut. Jab of the hut. Uh, 
May the force be with you, my young Padawan. Because you clearly need some sort of padding, because that is an exposed wound. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, please, I don't have any skin. <laughs> when did he get that big stick? I know we've not. This episode's not ended yet. We're almost ended. When the silly scene is finished. But when did he get Look, the skeleton got, stick? Yeah, the weird spine. Oh, it's bleeding. I thought he was friends with this thing. I thought they were buddies. Oh look, it's the all-seeing Tyrannosaur pubes. It's the Sarlacc pit, isn't it? Yep. I don't know, I'll explore this deadly temple. Ancient sealed temple. <laughs> Candle still lit. <laughs> Spoke too soon, bitch. We'll find out on the next exciting episode of Eternal Darkness, like you've already said. Tiddles. Alf Vida Zane. Mm, look at that ass crack. Mm, it's a nice ass crack. I hope she uses the floss right while the button.